Good morning, grasshoppers. All right, we're back. We took our time. We took our darn well time. Yeah. I missed everyone yesterday. I did. That was crazy. So on Monday, all I can say is that I changed my own time zone somehow. I normally get, I agree, not enough sleep as I burn the candle at all ends doing a variety of things with both family and work, teaching. And I have a fully packed day again today too, so I'm hoping to get a couple of things in. But. If you reload the tournament page, you'll have a link to the stream. But we are here and we are ready. So I took some melatonin on Monday and got some extra sleep, went to bed earlier, and then yesterday I could not get up to save my life. I was lucky enough to get the tournament announcement out. And this morning it was the same thing. It was crazy. I was like, what has changed? And all I could relate it to was the fact that I had taken the melatonin two days ago. And for whatever reason, crazy oh i'm just playing a standard line of the king set in here let's see how much main line theory this is a game of chicken basically i'm gonna keep playing good moves until my opponent stops playing good moves exchanges like d takes e5 the exchange variation kind of chicken out my opponent may or may not have a book sitting on his lap studying the lines absolutely absolutely okay g5 is the best move so against this my opponent's going to checkmate me of course Well, that was a that was a strategic mistake. I appreciate all the help I can get. Making pawn moves where he's weak. Let's just keep pace with Mr. Dr. E. Merkian. Dr. E. Merkin. Oh, I'm not trapping the knight, am I? Or am I? Let's find out if I am. Can I do this this way? Let's keep up the pressure just in case we're allowed to. Oh, that's weird. A 
Maybe I needed knight d3 before I played c takes d6. <laughs> I feel like I've helped my opponent out a little bit. Yes. Don't you are where you're in my head. Can I go this way? I could accidentally get made it. No? Yes? Let's just win this end game. Where are you headed? I'm walking alone, streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own self. Step by step. What is he up to? Oh, is he going to do that to me? Fly above the sky. He is a spectator now. Now my ready to explode right up in the sky i need you to listen i need you to hear i've been flying from town to town all around the globe trying to protect your soul Night, yeah. Is he going to get in? Night, yeah. We are here tonight by the way everyone the stream does not really start until that happens so a6 was a strategic mistake uh md the american you really need that light squared bishop to sacrifice on the king side other than that i know that i made many mistakes and it's possible that you were even winning at many points A great, great article was shared. Good morning, Lauren. There's no dink. You didn't hear the dink. You're correct. I got to check my dink. 
please follow on our socials. The Discord has a link to Thinking by... I believe it was... Was it Monkey Boy? Or Monkey Boy said that he saw it first? So Knight F3 on move 2 is an anti-Grunfeld move. Ayala's... Horus loves God. You know, we're going to have to study this opening one of these days. Attacking the center, not always good. And nothing. Can I just play it that way? I probably did get a center pawn out of the deal. Yeah, let's do that. Just for one day, I... Let's just keep up with the Joneses here. No, you don't want to play that. You're going to need a lot more than God to save you after this. I'm so sorry. Help us! Nothing! Keep us together! We can be Just for one day I didn't realize I was hanging my rook at the time, but I do want to trade everything. By the way, studying the classics, one of my favorite uh, books that I'm going to recommend, I was listening to the 64 podcast with Romain Ed Roman Edward. Uh, he has a three volume calculation series and the third volume, volume three is legendary games. And I have to say, I'm very anxious to get to this. I even have an chess informant bookmark hidden right behind uh, the periodical prose use chess informant. Sales at sohovsky.com oh. I'm sorry, Ayala, Ayalas. Eyes of Rooks. Eye of the Rooks. Ayala. Aya Las Torres. Eye of Rooks, everyone. How do I cover the E2 square? I guess I cover it that way. I do sort of want him to play Bishop takes D6. Don't I? So that I can castle queen side? Never too late to castle. Alright, moment of truth. 
home. Oh, oh, oh. The more I swim, the more I'm sinking. Take me to the world of silver. No more heartbreaks, tears, painkillers. Take me somewhere unfamiliar. Bring me back to where we started. Get me out of now. We're going to keep the bishop completely surrounded. No, that was what I wanted though, isn't it? I wasn't completely surrounded as it turns out. I could just take that. We're having way too much fun here, folks. I'm not going to mate him with my queen. I'm going to try to mate him with the bishop if I can. I'm afraid. King, queen, king, bishop. So if king back, then rook check. There, there. And I can't mate him with the bishop. That's too bad. Pretty brutal. Feeling extra aggressive. I am one full chapter into Secrets of Opening Preparation by Alexander Rachmanov. Rock, Rachmanov. Good morning, Dark Blade. I'm afraid you might be late. We have started round four. Do you need to get in? Let me know when you're in. I will reduce the number of rounds. Quick, jump in. Oh, you're in. I'm hoping to make sure that I play every morning. Is this really in my uh, starting intro to stream playlist? Not sure if I like that. Tell me how you really feel. Collaborate. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. Let's jump in and I give my name. Dress green and so in love. Life is happy, but it's so. All right. We must be We're going with it. Playing Mr. Two Ounces here. <laughs> Hold on, let me just get back to. Nicely done. 
Obviously, you had too much time. You should do the simul with 5 plus 5 for yourself. But I'm bummed. Where's uh, W moves 2 ounces going? Do we play again the same way? Yes, we're going to play the same way. We are going to play the same exact way. Oh, my opponent has played an inferior line. This line makes it very difficult. Will be alone. So the queen on e7. What is going on with the queen on e7? And the knight on d7. I don't get it. Should I go around the world or should I just put a rook on the open file and pretend like this is a normal day at the office? I guess we're pretending like it's a normal day at the office. I'm coming home, Sinada. Where are you going, sir? I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Weakness on D6. Don't say you didn't hear it here first. My rook on E1 is misplaced. I should have played rook on A to D1. I was never going to play. I've got weak dark squares. My rook belongs on D1. Let's just uh, go after the center in the old-fashioned way. So we have a weak D6 square as well. Gonna send a couple of our best men in to see what's going on on this one. Do I want to worry about this? I could worry about this. I'm not gonna worry about it just yet. After all, I do just want to double. All right, now is the d6 square weak? Not yet, huh? All right, stuff is getting interesting. We're going to reroute our bishop. Also to attack f7, by the way. Just in case anybody was wondering, listening, or paying attention. Okay. As advertised, this was the plan. F7 should be feeling it any time now, by the way. F7 is not yet feeling it. I am very impressed.
Is that a trade of pawns? We will see. Okay. We'll return to the scene. He didn't want the e4 pawn. The tension is mounting. I believe that e takes is forced at this point, but he doesn't want me to allow, he doesn't want to allow my c pawn to move. We're just going to keep up the threats. I see the, the fire. That's a bummer. Can't believe that I've fallen for this. I don't want to trade queens. What happened here? The rook on F to E1 had to have been a terrible move, yeah? All the way to C5. I like everything I'm doing up until, yeah, h3 was not necessary. He was going to take my knight anyway, and it weakened my dark squares. Uh, it says I started going downhill on knight h2. H6 rook on F to E1 is definitely an inaccuracy. It cost me a clear advantage. Do not trust the computer assessments. Yeah, I thought rook on A to D1 was the best move. That was what I said. Not rook on F to E1. I need that protected. Got F to E1 was lame. In any event, I promise that every stream I will do a little bit more. I promise to myself that I'll do a little bit more of a highlight of the player that we are observing and Nelly Aginian I don't know how to pronounce it I apologize born August 1st 1981 so she's 41 became an international master in 2001 I'm trying to remember where I was then I was having my second daughter in 2001 she was just born and a WGM in 2005. Can't remember where I was then. Alushta. Is a city of regional significance on the southern coast of the Crimean Principle.
de facto federal subject of the Russian nation since 2014. Mika Yerevan Chess Club that won the European Chess Club tournament. I'm gonna I'm gonna open that one in the background because I want to be able to look up the team members and make sure that I have all of their birthdays. That's what I usually do. On the World Team Championships in 2007. That's pretty impressive. Very, very impressive. Very impressive, Nelly. Over here, peak rating is 23, oh, 2380. Nelly, if you're out there, visit the stream let's check out nico oh just ended good job nico last round uh oh i'm way overdue here sly cory born february 2nd 1933 We play a big game of chicken until we don't. Let's see what type of exchange Slav opponent that we have here. They have the Bishop outside exchange Slav. This creates the most difficulties for black, in my opinion. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. Tell me what you have to so. You are, you are. Do I want to keep up the pressure? I do. I have to keep up the pressure. Where are you going with that? Oh, I'm going to keep up the pressure as though I'm playing normally. Standard operating procedure here. But how does he save his E6 pawn if I go that route? Two pawns in a row. Pure speculation on my part. I mean, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Let's 
streets are empty. The only thing I can answer. I thought he might go for that. But what is the point? I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. We will fly above the sky. I need a place for my king. Just in case. Ready to explode right up in the sky. I need you to listen, I need you to hear. All right, I realize there's a small error in my uh, soundtrack. I cannot hear the dink, and I cannot hear. When I am out of time, I can't hear the time warning. I need to find the volume on this. Outrageous. There we go. Let's turn that music down. What happened to me here? Let's take a quick peek. I thought I was uh, having fun until I wasn't. E3 is by far the most popular move. 95, that was the move I wanted to play, but I did not think it was the main line. Rook to C1 and Queen to B3. So we go with Queen to B3. <coughs> Black played the very unusual. <coughs> Actually, he didn't play the very unusual, did he? No, he played, we played e3, e6. And then I played queen to b3. That's what was happening. Queen to c8. Bishop to b5 is usually played first. I played rook to c1. Let's say bishop to e7. Rook to c1. Let's say they castle. That doesn't work out the same, does it? Knight e5 was premature. I was crossing my systems. Congratulations, W2 moves. Nico Demonius. Dojo regular from St. Petersburg. VIP. Chat fueler extraordinaire. Australia does have it so much better. How oh, are they an hour ahead of you, Oroken? Uh, 
<laughs> That's not nice. King Slayer Sloan. New Zealand's vassal state. Good morning, Jeff. How are you? Three hours behind New Zealand and Australia? That seems like a lot. <laughs> All right, from the Where We Started album. I do want to come right back before I do anything. I owe a study stream. Purdy's birthday is coming up, by the way. I'm trying to recall when it is. I don't know if I chose Purdy. I had to take a number off the top of my head. It is the 25th. The 25th of August or October? No, I've done all of August. It must be the 25th of September or the 25th of August. You can check for Purdy's birthday just by searching our Google Calendar. Yesterday I added 75, almost 75 birthdays to the calendar. And I may do a little bit more of that today. So what ends up happening, I create a huge database of bookmarks of uh, good players' birthdays once I start researching them. And then I add them when the month comes around to the calendar. I've already got a lot of birthdays in there. There's some unfortunate duplicates in my uh, Sorry, I lost my train of thought with the Peter Heine Nelson Twitter flying by social media undermining me. But I do hope to be back straight away. Or should I do a simul before I go? And add some more songs to our... Uh... I want some cover songs of Rihanna. That's what I really want. Oh, yes, we should comment on the news. Thank you, Broken. Let's check out the standings. Oh, nice. Thank you, Broken. I also have the ability myself to break up YouTube videos. I'm going to create an intro scene, not unlike Dan and Agrano's, if I can. Three more to upload. Library Wi-Fi up sure is very slow. You get a lot of reading done there. I feel terrible, man. Everyone, we need to get this stream moving so I can pay Rogan. All of the... By the way, all of the revenue from the previous month's stream... I'm going to check on it now. Oh, man, I'm not even going to get paid. The revenue for the previous... Uh, month was less than $100. So therefore, $91, or roughly $91 is going to abortion funds. Let me just make sure that this is correct. I'll know on the 11th of the month. They usually pay around the 10th. They usually tally it up on the 10th. In any event, standings, official website. Who 
What do we want to look at first? Let's check out the open live games for a moment. That will also give us the standings. <coughs> oh, India 2 had their first loss. That's quite crazy. And in the main India team has its first draw. I believe they have their first draw. They were the two undefeated Indian teams. And the USA team, and I commented on this in another one, we've got two and a half hired guns and an American in this one, almost in any given round. Fabiano Caruana was born in Miami. Cuba versus Spain, 2-2. Two, two. It's a very slow, slow, pro slow progress there. Cuban team is very strong. According to the commentary I heard yesterday from Peter Svidler, while I was trying to... Uh, there was quite an amazing uh, draw that occurred in uh, Israel versus... Oh man, I'm drawing a blank in the women's in the women's section. Philippines versus Israel, Israel men's and women's team. Norway lost to Australia. I think that was the one I posted in our Discord. Oh, India team won a drawn. Thank you, Jeff. That meant that there were no one. Oh, but they were undefeated. That's what I heard. They were undefeated, but they had drawn one. Yes. Digi World, how are you? Good game, sir. Good game. I sort of loved it right at the end. But I need to do something about my leech chest sounds. I don't want them to be too loud. I don't want them to be too... But my earpiece has the music much louder. I couldn't hear any time warning. And I couldn't hear that I'd lost on time. I'm still analyzing the position. <laughs> it was a good game. Uh, where were we on the socials? The Magnus Carlsen won, but I feel for Aryan Tari. We can even look at these pieces. This is terrible. Honestly, when you're playing players that don't know how to play chess, you should be playing E4. This is Bobby Fischer's recipe, right? You should be playing e4. So that basically means that Agnes Carlson should be playing e4 99% of the time. Positions uh, got the two bishops for black, but it's a little passive. White has the space advantage. White only needs to get those pawns moving. Now, black has two connected past pawns, but they're hanging pawns. They're not necessarily the pure victim of being hanging pawns. Hmm. I'm not sure if I agree with this decision. This is a very committal decision, possibly made in time pressure because Ari Antari only has 33 seconds. I'm assuming that's up. Never mind. We're not going to win this end game. In fact, we are completely toasted. Yeah, and I'm willing to wager that it went down around the time of... We'll look at our entire versus... Uh, Let 
Bishop was White's best piece. Black Bishop wasn't that good of a piece. Anyway, Bobby Chuck versus Jean Ludwig Hammer. I just wanted to see the Australia beating up on Norway here. Jean Ludwig Hammer plays the Catalan himself, so this should not be any great shakes. Somewhat turned into a Moran variation. So Rogan, apparently Quadraspasky said he refunded my money to my PayPal for the emotes. And although I haven't checked, I trust him on this. I don't know that that happened, but it's not a big deal because I wasn't expecting much. I considered it an overpriced donation for all the really awesome work that he gave me before, one way or the other. Losing is still losing. Losing on time is still losing. Norway should have won. Ah, yes, I heard about this. That's because he's not playing in our dojo training. If he were playing 5 plus 5 every single day, he would not have any problems. I guarantee you, training at this time control is key. The John Ludwig Hammer is uh, completely uh, according to the engine, anyway. I didn't even look at the engine over here, the engine evaluation to a certain extent. Yeah, he was throwing it away in time trouble, obviously, at the end. Now he's feeling the pressure. One thing I want everyone to note in this particular instance is that it is very difficult for very strong players to make exchanges. I agree with you. Five plus five is the absolute and ultimate. No, we do it on the weekends. I used to have the rapid in the evening and the blitz in the morning. The blitz in the morning was because we had limited time during the workday, say, even if I'm 6 a.m., it's noon in the middle of the day for most of Central Europe or so, 1 o'clock. And interestingly enough, it's the reverse for uh, Lauren, perhaps. If I had the evening rapid, it would be the morning for her, and she would be having the, uh, the blitz again around noon. Mm -hmm. All right. Check out Kingslayer Sloan. I believe he should. Sorry, I haven't put up a, a shout out for Kingslayer Sloan. I'm throwing a, so thrown off by having a day off. An almost well rested day off. Let's continue perusing the results. Montenegro. I believe they had a volcano some years ago, so they moved up on my radar. Ferenc Berkus' birthday is coming up, I believe, on Monday. But I chose, uh, I chose women. I had a concentration on women, unknown, notable women players, as much as I could in light of all the abortion nonsense and civil rights uh, abuses that are going on here in the United States. Moldova and Turkey, 2-2. Two, two. Greece beat up on poor Belgium. Now, I have to admit, I only know a handful of these players as they have grown older. Mods Anderson, I played in a tournament with him. Uh, Bebo Jesper is a streamer. 
and he has played in the opera spiel as well. He's done videos for opera spiel. Bear also. Not sure if I know Rasmus and Al on Stig. I probably have played him because I'm sure that all of these players are in opera spiel if, uh, if Thibaut and uh, Bear are. Jesper. Eric Blomquist, Tiger Hillock person Drew. I saw Tiger Drew very early. Yesterday, and it was like the rest of the team was still playing. I'm happy for Emmanuel Burke. He signed a copy of his French uh, hardcover book for me when we were there. He is the coach of the Norwegian women's team, Emmanuel Berg, even though he lives in Sweden. He has a very sizable family. I don't know if he has four kids or three. I've lost count. But basically, he's pretty much settled down. He's not the player he used to be, Emmanuel Burke. He's a nice kid, in my mind. He's a nice kid. Solomon Kenny, I met once when he came to New York. Daniel Barris, chess base author. I'm a chess of bull author. author. But this Amin Basem is one of the strongest uh, Egypt uh, players in the world for being from Egypt, from that part of the country. Uh, he had a really great world rapid or was it the World Cup? World Rip Blitz or World Rapid World Cup? I'm losing track. Thank you, Rogan. Excellent. <clears throat> what was the command that you used? Was it a slash or was it an X clam? I'm wondering if I'm just not typing it right when I tried to help you out one time. <clears throat> right? Did you raid me an hour ago? I didn't even realize that you raided. I didn't have the... Uh... What was I doing when you raided? At an IMFO in stream thingy. At an info in stream thingy. That's fascinating. I didn't know that I could do that. That's cool. Let me just refresh. Oh, you mean me? Wait. Creator dashboard. Hold on here. Reload. Chess news of the day. Chess news Olympia. Thank you, Roken. Yeah. Channel actions is in, in mod view. Got it. I did not realize that I could do it in the creator dashboard for a channel. I'm going to have to check it out. That's very cool. I have a, I'm a newbie as a, as a mod. Iceland, good for them. I don't, I can't say that I've met, I always say I've met some of these players, but I can't guarantee it. Morocco got a 4-0 butt whooping from Mongolia. I'm very proud of uh, Batsurin. Quite crazy. Anu Bayar is there coaching and is part of the administration for the Mongolian team. Because this event was coming up. Interesting. Now I'm going to check it out when I get a chance when someone, when you are streaming next time, I'm going to see what I see. I may not change anything, but I just want to see what I see. Normally, I always think the creator dashboard is for myself. But I don't even look at it when I'm on another person's channel. I did notice it. Uh, I put out a bid for Anna. The other day, we raided um, 
I'm drawing a blank right now. Who did we raid the other day? We raided Anna Kuchava. WFM Anna Kuchava. And today is an off day because the last night was the Bermuda party. Alexandra Samaganova had a great uh, picture of the Bermuda party ticket. There are many hungover chess players. Not a lot, but there are many. Scotland versus Sri Lanka. I did look at Trinidad actually at one moment or another. I noticed that my daughters could be playing for if they were to get a dual passport and represent they could my both of my daughters could be playing for the Trinidad women's team. For example, do I qualify here? I don't think I do. No, Winter is stronger than me. I would not make the men's team. For them to be only uh, one point ahead of Chinese Taipei with these results, though, is uh, is not good. I actually brought up their web page to do some training with them. One way or the other. I don't know who the coach or trainer for the women's team is, but I don't want to necessarily train them, train them. But if I can help, I will. Hong Kong versus Puerto Rico. Eatenheimers. Hold on here. Let's see. No, I don't know any of these guys. Mike Feldman. Let's see what board four for Puerto Rico looks like. Uh, CM is not, I mean, I would write, A, a Kingslayer Sullivan, take the same advice I gave to I Am Hungry, uh, Velcro Dot, oh, that's someone I didn't put in my stream recommendations, Velcro Dot, for making chess cool on my main page and the about page, I put the female streamers that I approve of. And I didn't put the Melancaya, the Melancaya, or um, Bruzy. I'm going to try to do them in alphabetical order so that it doesn't look like there's any favoritism. So if you have the word the in front of your name, Aruba, Jamaica, who I want to take you. This is the second time we've heard of Heroes tonight. Before we leave today, I want to do, I do want to add another women live games or not so live games. Yeah, Trinidad lost, Trinidad lost 4-0 to a team, the, the, the women's Trinidad team lost 4-0 to a team that they should not have beaten. Unfortunately, Mongolia beat Norway and it was a loss for both uh, Anu's student and mine on the respective boards. But, uh, so for example, my former student, Maud, lost on board four. And Anu's uh, student, Omar lost to Edith Mocklick. Edith Mocklick, by the way, comes from a family of several Mocklicks. They are a very serious chess playing family. I think they have at least four chess players in the house, if I include the father. I believe there are two girls and a boy and the father, although they're not that young anymore, the Mocklicks. I've played with them in the, each of those tournaments. So, of course, the United States should have a 4-0 result, right? Do you see this okay? Of course, the USA should have a 4-0 result. Mm. 
when they're performing as badly as they are, right? Like, you can't hover over these guys. Personally, the best interface, the absolute best interface, I'm going to bring it up now, to watch the... Hold on here. The absolute best interface to watch the... Uh, I need to bring up another one. Hold the phone. Where's my content? Content windows. If I change this one to chessable, I think I am going to change it to chessable. Okay, there we go. And we will work with this one. All right, we're going to switch over to the Chess 24 content window. So let's see if I can expand this. Oh, no, I don't want to mess this one up. I apologize, everybody. I'm going to lose sight of the board for a moment, but let me just do, instead of messing up my chess dot com window, I'm going to do this one. And this is, uh, I can edit this. Take those out. Chess 24 easily has, honestly, the best interface to observe events. If they can harness the power of this interface, my God. Let's move this down. We'll center it. Yes, I am Master Chess Dojo on Chess 24 as well. So, for example, when you go to tournaments and then you scroll down to the uh, first off, the main page will give you a, a watch. But literally, you can see what's going on in every game. You can hover over the game if you want to see what's going on in the game. One second. Where's my where are my tournaments? Nothing. Watch this after I talk them up like this. Here we go. See all events over here in this window. Uh oh. I need to refresh the screen. That's what's happening. Since I maximized it, I need to refresh the screen. Uh-oh. Banter Blitz today at 0900. With Ju and Jun. I will be attending that to a certain extent. I will be trying to watch it. Here we go. Featured right down here. We can actually click on either of these. Oh, so here we go. Chennai Chess Olympiad. Basically, this gives you the top board at the top one, and it opens up a new tab, interestingly enough, right at the top. So if you want to open up another tab, you can actually be following multiple tournaments up here to a great extent. And you get to see board one, two, three, four. And you, like I said, you can hover over it. Bell and Kaya. Oh, it was Romania. That was the team that I was thinking of. Romania had an upset draw against a strong team. Arena Bulmaga had a very interesting end game. Dina Bell and Kaya, how did she win that? So if you click on it, basically... It'll come up right up here. Now 
Now you do have the, the analysis engine down below. If you wish to see it or if you don't wish to see it. You can go by the evaluation. I am very impressed with... Uh, the news feature of... I would probably be using this for the for the news broadcast, the uh, Rogan. I did fill out the streamer Lee Chess survey. I filled it out a while ago, unless they sent me another one. I think they send it out periodically. Yeah, I saw I saw the the thumbnail for that one. And personally, all right, I admit it, because I have two daughters, I am partial to women's chess. And I do want to encourage it as much as possible. Yeah, the opponent really, what in the world? We just lost a piece in this deal? What is going on here? Check. So basically that was going to be fatal, right? I don't have the same tools for drawing on the board that I do. That's always awkward. Yeah, in a previous round, she didn't, but I, I think I know the round you're talking about. Unfortunately, Levy is a good kid, but I know that he comes from a little bit of an upbringing of not necessarily giving women a lot more credit in chess. Let's just say if you grew up in a household with Jennifer Shahadi or let's just say sisters and whatnot, then you tend to have this bias a little bit. So for the most part, what is going on here? What is this move all about? To threaten the queen. Fine. And then to bring that up. If I could learn any opening instantly and completely, I would learn E4 for white. That would be Scotch, Italian, Rui Lopez. If I could learn any opening instantly and completely, it would be E4. Sicilians, Scandinavians, Alakine, E4 by by far. That would be the that would be my first pick. <laughs> so then you hover over the players that in question, right? You can see that this player won in the first round and she has not played a very good tournament, right? She's played four games. Whereas Dina Oh, so it must have been round four that we were looking at. Dark Blade, it must have been round four that we were looking at. I was also, I also remember that we had looked at them in the, uh... But how could she lose to Soon Wu Park? Let's hit, click on that eyeball. How about that? Let's follow that, let's follow that one for a moment, right? You click on the eyeball, you get to see the game. Soon Wu Park. Same concept here. Oh. I thought I could arrow up like I was on Lee Chess. So for example, E4 is, I believe, best by test every single time. Bobby Fisher was on to something. If you wanna if you wanna filter out the wikis in chess, then you should be playing E4 as white. There's no doubt about it. You just need a system to beat the, the Sicilian. Now, already, uh, I watched a video that AK and Emsco played a master. I'm not sure if it was a master in the park uh, that wanted revenge, and he answered this with uh, C5, obviously. 
we can move the pieces. And this is dead equal. The assessment here is dead equal. However, here, well, actually that was 0.5. After bishop f5, it may feel better, but it's not. You get tortured a lot. Now, I know that Dina Belenkaya is probably, you know, more inclined on the the romantic notions of Fifty Shades of Grey, but being bound up in the uh, being bound up in the Karo Khan is not where it's at. Yeah, I don't mind if you play D4 or Yetenheimers, but you should give your opponents. Yeah, but it also gives the opponent a lot of leeway, Lauren. It gives it but why a slight a very noticeable but slight pressure on black position. But it gives the opponent a lot of leeway to make time errors and still get away with them. Not in every opening, obviously. So soon Ru Park did not really test this system as they exchanged off the white squared bishops. And there's no excuse for uh, Dina to get into trouble here, honestly. That in-between move was was just happening. So we aren't losing a pawn. I'm just going to keep this on the screen. I don't know if you can see it. That wine is much better. I want you to see what I see. So hold on. I'm going to add it to the screen a little bit so you can see what I see. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. White is much better. I don't necessarily want you to see all of my emoticons or my taskbar settings down below. You will see the Twitter notifications coming by and messages, unfortunately, in this particular window. Let's turn off our notifications just for a little bit that way we don't have to worry about them yeah we have a lot of excess white space to the right but is it because we blew up the board I'm coming home. So if this is the one where she gets roasted by Levy because he also plays the Karakhan, I believe it. But I did see the thumbnail. I did not watch it just because I don't like to see people getting beat up that I like. If they... If I disagree with you, Lauren. Black does not have 50 million ways to draw. It's a very, very, very thin tightrope for the weaker player. The Berlin is not a win. It's not a it's not a draw either. But it's not a it's not necessarily a win, but it's not a draw. It's a very difficult position for both sides. Ah, but it's not about playing chess. Rogan. It is about studying chess. The article that was placed in the general section. Why some expert four things you need to do to be an expert by three XK and Dragon Emperor said he saw it first. It was a post. Please check it out in the general section of the discord. That YouTube video uh, although I already knew much of it, I even took part in the study of the master study where you're shown a position for five seconds and then you have to recreate it on the board in a variety of ways. I took part in that master study because it did happen here in Manhattan. And that study is referenced by a lot of authors. He didn't conduct the study, the guy. Petrov is not, a, not equal. 
it's very difficult for black to play if you play it right. There are three lines. You can play the line that Karyakin lost to in 18 moves with knight c3 on the fifth move. You can play Morozevich's bishop d3. You can play Topolov's Cochrane Gambit. I mean, if a lower ranked player, I mean, Evan Rosenberg, who recently had a perpetual chess podcast, adult improver, uh, played Mark Arnold. And I told Mark Arnold specifically, do not play the Cochrane Gambit. Basically the Cochrane Gambit, as essayed by, Top by Topolov against uh, Kramnik. Knight takes E5, Knight takes F7. And then d4. So basically, I won a game with this particular variation. Yeah, it says one pawn here, but the whole game is ahead of you. The game is afoot, as Sherlock Holmes would say. The entire game is afoot. This pawn is, oops, gotta remember I can't right click. This pawn is protected because of the queen to h5, queen to d5. And if the king tries to move to e7, then queen to e2 wins. There's no saving this, for example. This is in my basic tactics. The king tries to escape, then we just win with... And you're not just losing a knight. You might think that you're only losing a knight, but it gets far worse, unfortunately, as you take advantage of the Nemo knife, the dark squared bishop skewer. As I mentioned in one of her threads that I now have called... The dark squared bishop skewer the Nemo knife based on her hair, sharp wit, and cutting edge tactics. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody below 2400, this is the advice, by the way, that I told uh, our Antari when he was 2400 and he was playing nonsensical up kiss openings i basically when he was 2400 and i saw him have a terrible turn i said dude you need to overhaul your openings and start crushing these clowns because they don't know how to play chess until they're 2600 now unfortunately because i may or may not have said that number i may have planted or incepted the seed that a 2600 player is a good player nemo ad did you get a nemo ad for td bank I do want to keep track of how many Nemo ads everyone gets. She had not yet seen an ad on Twitch because I believe. Slayer Sloan is always welcome to a bit of self-promotion. We don't necessarily have her wit or humor. Uh, per se, nor her personality. So we are at a serious disadvantage just in the streamer world. Absolutely, the King's Gambit. But you do need to know a few things in the King's Gambit just to avoid getting crushed. If you play against anyone over, unfortunately, about 2,200 who plays. There you go. King Slayer Sloan. It claims that you're watching without audio. So I wonder if you're doing it elsewhere. Speak for yourself. Just, I would say, if you really want to learn the King's Gambit. I would go with the calculation training method of going through the legend F1. Don't really look at the theory. Get a really good feel for the opening that you want to play by going over legendary games. And by going through those legendary games, you will really feel immortal as far as you'll be standing on the shoulders of giants and you will be inspired. So yeah, the King's Gambit, oops. Not F3. The King's Gambit. Let's go to a better uh, Bell and Kaya game. So she was black against uh, 
in this game as well. Let's just see this for a moment. Our two losses have been with the Kings, with the Karo Khan. So there are three ways to equalize here. It's ridiculous how easy it is to equalize here. You can play knight c6, and after c3, you can play the queen c7 line and equalize. You can play e5 straight away and equalize, honestly, if you must know the truth. Or you can even uh, hedge your bets um, in other ways with the main line, which is what I'm going to show in, a, uh, in one of my memorable games. Basically, white has to develop knights before bishops. And this is the main main line. Personally, I prefer queen to c8 over queen to d7. The computer gives queen d7, so I'll give that one. And then white eases the knight into f3. And basically, this position is very difficult for white to win. Now, we can exchange bishops right away, or we could play quietly. They want us to play knight e5. But basically, the first thing that you have to watch out for is knight to h5. And another method, you can actually just move your bishop back and then back to g6. And you get rid of that bishop on, uh, on g3. So this plan of moving the bishop to g4, h5, and g6 appears in all openings. French defenses, queen's gambits, all sorts of openings. And the lastly, the, the other one that equalizes against the exchange variation is my old personal favorite, which was g6, I believe. Yeah, all these lines. G6. I'm going to go with this, right? This is a great equalizer. If you really want to just shut down white, you can play knight at G6, knight h 6 and bishop f5. And, like, it's extremely hard. There are so many tricks here. It looks like white's getting something by taking the knight, but really they're just giving up the bishop pair. Bishop takes knight. Bishop takes, queen takes, bishop takes d3, and the white squared bishop rules supreme. And uh, Stockfish 10 is uh, is warranting it at better for, uh, for black, even though the position is objectively equal. So yeah, I would definitely be going with this. Knight eight six. Queen d2. Is there a better move than queen d2? Let's just say they play knight f3. We're still going to play bishop f5. We don't even need to play bishop f5, by the way. We also have a choice of playing bishop to g4 and knight f5. Just to take away the bishop, the knight's ability to go to e5. So this position is death defyingly equal. The line that she played is the queen c7 line. I feel like this one breaks the rules a little bit too much. It's the recommended theoretical line. And now she's crossing the streams just a little bit. Personally, she should still play knight eight six. She played the advanced variation. Her opponent played that. He, she took immediately. Now, honestly, you can play anything that you want to here. You can play knight to c6 or you can play e6. And e6 runs into either c3, bishop e3 is what she chose to play, and then instantaneously knight to d7 equalizes because of the pressure on both c5 and... So then there's the continuation where white just gives back the pawn. In fact, that's, that's what everybody does nowadays. White just gives back the pawn and completes their development and goes for a French defense where they played the ridiculous move D takes C5, which loses a tempo.
which one of you had this position this particular position i apologize 750 so five minutes ago in the exchange variation <laughs> that's what i'm saying lauren asked me if there was one opening dark blade that i uh that i really wanted to know it would be e4 but the open sicilian works better for white than it does for black on average except for the e6 uh sicilians which is why bobby fisher often dodged the e6 sicilians the king's indian attack and he was way ahead of his time. He was super, super intuitive. Bobby Fisher really knew his stuff. Way ahead of computer. <coughs> so if they played E6 on move two, he would often go into a King's Indian attack because it was a better French. He didn't have anything against the French either. And he had very little against the Karo Khan. Bobby Fisher versus Max Oiva. One of the best games ever. Uh, Bobby Fisher chose but Venick's specialty, and this is the one that I recommend. You must play the Panov attack, and now you're playing a Queen Pawn opening, which Lauren was alluding to earlier. That's correct. That's my favorite, favorite one. You play a normal Karo Khan and London players are lost. Yes, that was our, our dojo standby. Prime Kasparov versus Prime Fisher. Mad position. Oh, that's a tough one. Hold on here. Let me just think for a moment. Prime Kasparov versus Prime Fisher. For Prime Kasparov, I'm thinking around the late 1980s, between 88 and maybe 90 or 91 for Prime Kasparov. I'm just trying to picture that era of Kasparov. I still feel that Fisher had a better understanding of the fight. <laughs> yeah, but Rogan, if you get that position with white, there's nothing that you can do, even if you knew what to do, because black is just equal, has just equal chances. So you're going to have to, you're going to be able to draw with white, basically, if you look what, up what to do. But if you really want to become better at chess study end games, know the standard patterns, know the flat uh, as the uh, as the video about four things you know need to know need to be to be an, need to be an expert. One of them is a memory for standardized positions. And once those are out of the way, that's a very small part of it. Knowing uh, king and rook and pawn, knowing king and pawn, knowing how to mate with your minor pieces knowing how to use a pawn majority in certain ways. Yeah, you have to switch to the pan off and basically just study the legendary games. Judith Polgar plays the double bishop sacrifice, the Lasker sacrifice, and crushes Karpov. Crushes Karpov with using the pan off attack. It was actually, was it a Petrov? I think it actually came from a Petrov, but the position with the, the the structure was exactly the same as a Karo Khan. Because C takes D5, e to the E pawn uh, ended up on D5, white played C4 in the, against the Petrov. And the structure became similar. 
and he'd played knight e4, knight takes c3, b takes c3. She had rook to b1 in, and then there was a rook left possibility to b5, where she doubled her rooks on the e-file and just crushed him. Crushed him. There's a reason why the Panoff Botvinnik attack put the Karakhan out of business for 10 years. Good morning, Arikido. You're not up so early, 5 a.m. Yeah, you basically just have to get a feel for using your space advantage, Dark Blade. I'm sorry to hear that you're... Uh, 60% of your games are Sicilians. That is correct, I think. A pool tourney? I hope. I did have my billiards on Tuesday night. That was not... That could have been part of what kept me from waking up yesterday morning for the stream. Nice. Monday and Wednesday night, so the tournament's here. I am going to be playing billiards today at 6 o'clock. The reason the Sicilian is a fun and exciting battlefield is because of the imbalances. Three cushion. I love three cushion, except that in New York City, there are only two places to go. One of them is not far from me, the Karim Cafe, where all the great players go. And what month is it? This month, there should be a major international three cushion event going on yeah but being bubble boy by the way for anybody who is not aware of the reference